Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Malinga Sise of Haban Harvest Organic Farm. For all of you who have subscribed to my YouTube channel, I am so so grateful. And for those who are still new, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Today we are going to continue with our topic of yesterday and that is the feed consumption of 300 layers. Uh, yesterday we stopped in week 10 and today we are going to start from week 11 up to week uh, 19 uh, because normally these birds if you take care of them well trust me that by week 18 they will start, they will start laying eggs and uh, normally at worst at week 19 so I expect by 19th week your birds should have started laying eggs that's why we are going to stop at week 19 and then yesterday someone asked me that uh when are these birds supposed to eat the starters the grower smash and the layer smash i've talked about this before but uh normally the starter pellets i give them for four weeks from the very first day i bring them into the brooder until the end of four weeks and then from week five i normally give them the growers mash up to week 12 and then from week 13 i give them the layers mash up to laying them off so normally please let us try as much as possible to give these birds the right amount of feeds and the right feed for this particular age because every week they have um the uh, the number the, the kilograms of feeds or the grams that they are supposed to consume every day and then also uh we are going to total up the kilograms of pellets that we shall need the starter pellets we shall also total up the kilograms of the grower smash and the layer smash that we need from the very first day we bring up the buds and um, up to when they start laying eggs so for today stay tuned till the end but if you still new guys let us push this channel to 50k subscribers consider subscribing to the youtube channel click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload share this video comment in the comment section down below and i will be so grateful see you right back so as i told you earlier on today we are going to look at the feed consumption of 300 layers and uh, we shall start from week 11 because yesterday we stopped in week 10 so uh just like yesterday I have given uh, per bird every day how much grams are this they are supposed to consume and then we have multiplied by the 300 birds to find the number of the grams that they will need per day. Then I say that uh, it's normally hard to, to weigh these feeds in grams so it is easy to convert it to kilograms of which for you to convert in kilograms we shall divide it by 1000 to find the number of kilograms and then in a week we shall uh, find out how many kilograms of feeds we need for that particular week. So that is how I have come out with the calculation. So uh, if we come to week 11, these birds are supposed to consume 70 grams of feeds every day. And uh, for the 300 birds, we shall multiply 70 grams times the 300 layers. We shall come out with 21,000 grams. And uh, then we shall convert this to kilograms, which we shall do. 21,000 grams, you divide it by 1,000 and that will bring us to 21 kilograms of feeds every day. So if you have 300 layers, make sure when they reach 11 weeks, you give them 21 kilograms of, of the grower's mash every day. And then if we want to find out for a full week, we shall uh, multiply the 21 kilograms of feeds times the 7 days because a week has 7 days which will bring us to 147 kilograms of feeds in week 11. So the layers, when they are 300 in numbers, we should plan for 147 kilograms of feeds in week 11. Uh, if we come to week 12, uh, every bird is supposed to consume 75 grams of feeds per day. Uh, if we want for the 300 birds, we shall multiply 70 gra 75 grams times the 300 birds, which will bring us to 22,500 grams per day. So we said we should convert it to kilograms, which will be 22,500 divided by 1,000, which will bring us to 22.5 kilograms of feet. So if we want to find out for a full week, we shall multiply the 22.5 kilograms of feet times the seven days, which will bring us to 157.5 kilograms of feeds in week 12. Uh, let us come to week 13. Everybody in week 13 is supposed to consume 
80 grams of feeds per day. So we shall multiply the 80 grams times the 300 birds, which will bring us to 24,000 grams in a day. If we convert it to kilograms, we shall come to 24,000 divided by 1,000, which will bring us to 24 kilograms of feeds in a day. So for the seven days, we shall multiply the 24 kilograms times the seven days, which will bring us to 168 kilograms of feeds in week 13. So let us go to week 14. In week 14, you will find that we shall need 85 grams of feeds per bird in a day. And uh, for the 300 birds, we shall put 85 times the 300, which will bring us to 25.5, 25,500 grams in a day. We convert it to kilograms, which will bring us to 25.5 kilograms of feeds. And if we want to find for the seven days, for the a full week, we shall put 25.5 times the seven days, which will bring us to 178.5 kilograms of feeds in week 14. And then we come to week 15. Uh, we shall need 92 grams of feeds per bird, uh, and which we shall multiply it by the 300 birds, which will bring us to 27 point. 600 grams of feeds per day if we divide it by 1000 it will bring us to 27.6 kilograms of feeds and uh, if we want to find out for the seven days we shall multiply the 27.6 times the seven days which will bring us to 193.2 kilograms of feeds in week 15. so let us look at week 16 you will find that in week 16, these birds have really now started eating. Eh? Each bird is supposed to consume 100 grams of feeds in a day. And for the 300 birds, we shall uh, multiply it like this, which will bring us to 30,000 grams in a day. If we want to convert it to kilograms, we shall divide it by 1,000, which will bring us to 30 kilograms of feeds every day. So in week 16, these birds, every day you should give them 30 kilograms of feet and if we want to find out for a full week we shall uh, multiply the 30 kilograms times the seven days which will bring us to 210 kilograms of feeds in that week 16. so if we come to week 17 you will find that each bird needs 107 grams of feeds and if we want to find out for the 300 birds we shall multiply this by this which will bring us to 32,100 grams and if we want to get in kilograms we shall divide it by a thousand that will bring us to 32,000 30, that will bring us to 32.1 kilograms of feeds and if we want to find out for the seven days we shall multiply this by the seven days and that will bring us to 224.7 kilograms of feet in week 17. Uh, if we come to week 18, we find that a bird will need 114 grams of feet. And if we want to find out for the 300 layers, we shall multiply it by 300. And that will bring us to 34,200 grams. And if we want to find it in kilograms, we divide it by the 1,000. And that will bring us to 34.2 kilograms of feeds per day and if we want to find out and if we want to find out for a full week we shall uh, multiply the 34.2 kilograms of feeds times the seven days which will bring us to 239.4 kilograms of feeds and now we come to the our last week that we are going to stop in that is week 19 week 19 you'll find that each bird will need 120 grams of feeds per day. So in this week, you find that normally the birds have started laying eggs. And whenever this layer start laying eggs, each bird will need 120 grams of feeds every day. So even if you have 1,000 birds or 500 birds, you will have to know that each bird, whenever it starts laying eggs, each will have to take 120 grams of feeds every day. So uh, those who have 1,000 birds, you multiply this times the 1,000 birds, then you divide it by the 
1,000 to 5 in kilograms. Okay? So, uh, for the 300 bars, we shall multiply 120 grams times the 300 bars, which will bring us to 36,000 grams per day. If we want in kilograms, we divide that by 1,000. That will bring us to 36 kilograms of feeds in a day. And uh, for if we want to find out for the seven days, we shall uh, multiply the 36 kilograms times the seven days, which will bring us to 252 kilograms of feeds in week 19. So from week 19 till you lay those birds off, you will need these kilograms of feeds every week to feed these layers. So finally, I've decided to, to add on all the kilograms of the feed according to the, to the weeks. So we shall start with the starter pellets. Now for you to feed the 300 layers, you need 180.6 kilograms of the starter pellets to raise those buds in the brooder. Then the grower's mash, uh, you will need 894.6 kilograms of feeds for the grower's mash. And then for the layer's mash, from week 12, from week 13 to week 19, you will need 1,465.8 kilograms of feeds. So for someone out there who is planning to start the project, I think I've simplified for you everything. These are the kilograms of feeds you need from the starter pellets to the grower's mash up to the layer's mash. This is from the time you bring the buds until they start laying eggs. So finally, I've answered that question about the feed consumption of these layers. For those who have 500 buds, or for those who want to start with 500 buds, 1,000 buds, 100 buds, this is how you're going to do the calculation. Please consider these grams for every number of buds. In that way, it will make it very easy for you to plan for your buds, okay? But we should remember that we must always observe biosecurity in this project. We must always vaccinate our buds. And guys, let us really feed our buds very well and give them enough clean drinking water. So for today, that is all I had for you. And if you're still new, please consider subscribing to the YouTube channel. Click on the notification bell so that you never miss out any upload. Share this video. Comment in the comment section down below. Please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and I'll be so grateful. Tell me which country you're watching me from and I'll be smiling. See you next time. Love you all. Bye-bye.